Now we're going to add just a teeny bit of animation to this little panel here. And this is the glass small. And it looks like it got rid of all the hierarchy here. All these are just flat. But thankfully, the axis right here, I think is usable. So we only need to animate the rotation of this. And you can see the back is totally clear because we need to make this double sided. Now we can see back there. And let's reset this Y value. I think it was back at 180. Ideally, this would have all been zeroed out. But I guess when we exported it, maybe out of substance, it messed up the axes. But luckily, we can work with this. So I think what we'll do is every 10 seconds, we'll have this pop out. And then every 10 seconds more, we'll have it pop back in. So we'll use a loop animation. And we'll set the duration, at least while we test it, let's just make it three seconds. So every three seconds, you can see this looped thing will pulse. And now let's add a switch here. So this switch will turn on and off. And then we can have an animation play based on that. So when it's turned on, it will play this animation. And then when it's turned off, we want it to reverse. So let's add a knot here first. And then connect this to reverse. And that'll add that pulse automatically. So if you just sit and watch, you can see every three seconds, this pulse hits this flip, which changes switch from on to off. And you can see that here. And so when that happens, if it's positive or like a one versus a zero in the Boolean, it'll play. And if it's not, which is basically doing the opposite, it'll pulse and reverse that. So now we can add a transition patch here. And this will be where the animation values come in. And for this glass small, it looks like 180 in the Y is where we start. And we need to make sure these other two values are the same. So we'll put 180 in both of those for the start and the end. And then this second Y value is how far it'll swing out. So let's try 90, if, see if that's in the right direction. And then we just need to grab the rotation from here and plug it in. Looks like that's in the wrong direction. So let's try 270. That goes out, but we wanted to go a little further. So let's add 90 to that by typing plus 90. I think it could go a little bit further. Let's just add maybe 120 to that. And right now it's just going linearly, but we can change this to make it a little snappier. We could try maybe exponential to make it real snappy. And it's a bit silly, but it's a unique way to add some animation that's timed out and has a pause on both sides of the animation. So that's enough for the animation of these glasses.